Alaska Airlines Flight 1282, 2024. Passengers on Alaska Airlines Flight 1282 expected an ordinary evening trip from Portland, Oregon to Ontario, California. The plane, a nearly new Boeing 737 MAX 9, had only been in service for a few months. Families, students, and business travelers settled into their seats, unaware that within minutes, their flight would become one of the most talked about aviation incidents of 2024. Shortly after takeoff, as the jet climbed through 14,000 feet, a section of the fuselage called a door plug, a panel that covers an unused emergency exit, suddenly separated from the aircraft. A rush of air tore through the cabin as pressure dropped instantly. Oxygen masks fell, lights flickered, and freezing wind filled the plane. A teenage passenger's shirt was pulled away by the force, and his mother clung to him tightly. The cockpit door blew open, and for a moment, the cabin was filled with chaos. Despite the terrifying situation, the pilots remained composed. They quickly declared an emergency, descended to a lower altitude, and turned back toward Portland. Passengers held onto their seats, bracing for the landing. Within minutes, the plane was safely on the ground. Incredibly, all 177 people on board survived, though a few suffered minor injuries. When investigators from the NTSB examined the aircraft, they made a startling discovery. The door plug that detached midair was missing four key bolts, the very parts designed to hold it in place. Evidence suggested the bolts were never reinstalled after factory maintenance. Over time, the plug loosened until cabin pressure forced it out. Investigators also noted earlier pressurization warnings that had gone unresolved. The final report, released in 2025, placed blame on Boeing's weak quality control and oversight, but praised the flight crew for their calm, decisive actions. But Alaska 1282 wasn't the only close call that tested aviation safety in recent years. Just months before, another terrifying situation happened. This time, not in the air, but on the ground, at an airport covered in heavy fog. Southwest 708 and FedEx 1432, 2023. It was a foggy February morning in Austin, Texas. So foggy that the air looked like thick smoke. You couldn't see more than a few hundred feet ahead. Somewhere in that fog, two large jets were heading straight for the same runway. One trying to land, the other about to take off. This was Southwest Airlines Flight 708 and FedEx Flight 1432, a terrifying near disaster that happened in 2023. The Southwest plane, a Boeing 737, was preparing to take off for Cancun, Mexico. The FedEx jet, a Boeing 767 cargo aircraft was coming in from Memphis, Tennessee, loaded with overnight packages. Both were cleared for the same runway at Austin Bergstrom International Airport, even though dense fog had swallowed nearly everything from view. Inside the control tower, the air traffic controller couldn't see the runway through the mist. He cleared Southwest 708 for takeoff, assuming it would be gone before the FedEx plane touched down. At the same time, he told FedEx 1432 it was cleared to land. But because the Southwest pilots needed to warm up their engines, they stayed longer on the runway than expected. The FedEx crew, descending through the fog, had no idea a jet was still in their path. As the FedEx plane broke through the clouds, its pilots saw the Southwest jet directly ahead, on the same runway. With only seconds to spare, they pulled up hard, aborting the landing. The two planes passed within about 150 feet of each other. In the cockpit recordings, a calm FedEx pilot's voice can be heard saying, Southwest, abort. The Southwest jet, unaware of just how close they came to disaster, continued its takeoff and climbed safely away. The NTSB investigation later revealed the truth. A mix of human error, poor communication, and missing technology. The controller couldn't see the planes due to the fog, and the airport didn't have ground radar to track them. Southwest didn't tell the tower they needed extra time, and the controller assumed the runway was clear. Investigators blamed expectation bias, a common human assumption that nearly led to catastrophe. American 106 and Delta 1943, 2023. It was the night of January 13, 2023, at New York's JFK Airport. The runway lights glowed in the dark, and two planes, one massive, one mid-sized, were moving toward each other without knowing it. On one side was Delta Flight 1943, a Boeing 737 about to take off for Santa Domingo. On the other was American Airlines Flight 106, a huge Boeing 777 bound for London. Neither crew realized how close they were to disaster. American 106 was taxiing under air traffic control instructions, meant to follow a specific route and stop short of the active runway. But amid radio chatter and cockpit distractions, the crew turned onto the wrong taxiway. Without realizing it, their 777 crossed runway 4L, the same one where Delta 1943 was already accelerating for takeoff. In the Delta cockpit, the pilots had just advanced the throttles when the tower caught the mistake. 
the controller shouted for Delta to abort. The crew reacted instantly, slamming on the brakes and stopping with roughly a thousand feet to spare. Passengers felt the jolt, but never knew how close they had come to tragedy. The NTSB later found that the American crew had simply lost track of their position while multitasking and handling checklists. The ground controller didn't notice the error, and there were no active surface alert systems to warn anyone. Investigators blamed the incident on loss of situational awareness and poor communication, a clear example of how human error alone can nearly cause catastrophe. But just two years later, another close call would put those same lessons to the test, this time in Chicago and this time with seconds to spare before impact. Southwest Flight 2504, 2025. The rain had just started to fall over Chicago Midway Airport on February 25, 2025, as Southwest Flight 2504 made its final approach. Inside the Boeing 737, everything felt normal. The captain called out the landing checklist. The runway lights shimmered through the drizzle, and passengers were already bracing for touchdown after the short hop from Omaha, Nebraska. But just seconds before the wheels were about to hit the ground, something unexpected appeared on the runway, a small jet that wasn't supposed to be there. At first, the pilots couldn't believe what they were seeing. Out of the mist, a FlexJet Challenger business jet rolled across the same stretch of pavement, cutting directly into their landing path. It had accidentally crossed the active runway after misunderstanding air traffic control instructions. The two aircraft were closing in fast. In that split second, the Southwest crew didn't hesitate. The first officer pushed the throttles forward, engines roared to life, and the plane surged upward, climbing hard into the sky. Passengers felt their stomachs drop as the jet suddenly lifted away from the runway, missing the business jet by mere seconds. The tower immediately realized what had happened. The planes had come dangerously close, about 2,000 feet apart horizontally and even less vertically, before the southwest climbed away. Once the Boeing circled back and landed safely, the cabin filled with relieved applause. No one was hurt, but everyone understood just how close it had been. When the FAA and NTSB started their investigation, the picture became clear. The FlexJet crew had misheard their clearance and crossed an active runway without permission. The controller didn't catch the mistake in time, and Midway's limited ground radar didn't issue an alert. Experts later said that if the Southwest pilots had reacted even a few seconds later, the results could have been absolutely fatal. Southwest Flight 1496, 2025. It started like any other short flight across the desert. On July 25th, 2025, Passengers on Southwest Flight 1496 buckled in for the quick trip from Hollywood Burbank Airport to Las Vegas. The flight was on a Boeing 737, the kind of plane millions of Americans fly on every day. The mood was relaxed, some people chatting, some dozing off, some already thinking about slot machines and neon lights waiting in Vegas. But just a few minutes after takeoff, that calm turned into chaos. As the plane climbed through the morning sky, something unexpected showed up on the pilot's radar. A sudden traffic alert blared through the cockpit. The onboard safety system warned that another aircraft was directly ahead and closing in fast. Without hesitation, the pilots reacted. They threw the jet into a sharp descent, dropping nearly 500 feet in just seconds. Inside the cabin, passengers felt the floor vanish beneath them. Drinks flew, people screamed, and some were lifted right out of their seats. A couple of flight attendants were thrown against the ceiling, later treated for minor injuries. The entire maneuver lasted only moments, but it felt endless. Once the danger passed, the plane leveled out. The pilots calmly reassured everyone that the situation was under control. They continued on to Las Vegas and landed safely, though the cabin was left shaken and silent. Later, radar data showed that a military Hawker Hunter jet had been flying nearby at a similar altitude, far too close for comfort. When the FAA and NTSB launched their investigation, they confirmed that the pilots' quick reactions had prevented what could have been a mid-air collision. The alert system had done its job, but the incident raised serious questions about how civilian and military aircraft coordinate flight paths in shared airspace. Experts praised the Southwest crew for their decisive action, calling it an example of training meeting instinct at exactly the right moment. American Airlines 737 and Cessna 182 2024 The sky over Austin, Texas, was thick with fog on October 16, 2024, the kind that makes everything outside the cockpit vanish. Inside a Boeing 737, the pilots of American Airlines Flight 2587 were focused, guiding their jet toward the runway after a routine flight from Chicago. Everything looked normal on the instruments. The landing checklist was complete. Then, just seconds before touchdown, an alert blared in the cockpit, a warning that another aircraft was directly ahead. 
Out of the haze, a Cessna 182, a small private plane, had drifted into the same approach path. It shouldn't have been there, but it was, and the two aircraft were closing in fast. The 737's collision avoidance system, TCAS, flashed red and ordered an immediate climb. The pilots reacted instantly, pushing the throttles forward and pulling up just as the Cessna passed below. For passengers, it felt like the ground dropped away. Drinks spilled, people gasped, and the jet shot back into the mist. The two planes missed by about 400 feet, close enough to shake everyone involved. The 737 circled and landed safely moments later. Radar data later confirmed the Cessna had entered restricted airspace, crossing directly into the jet's path. Fog made visual detection nearly impossible, and controllers realized the conflict too late. Investigators blamed communication errors and poor visibility. The Cessna pilot had misunderstood instructions, while controllers struggled to track both planes. Experts said only the quick reaction of the American crew and flawless automation prevented a massive catastrophe. But not every close call happens high above the ground. Sometimes, the danger starts where the clouds hang low, where even the most advanced systems struggle against nature itself. United Flight 1539, 2024. The landing should have been smooth. Instead, the pilots of United Flight 1539 suddenly realized something was very wrong. It was February 6, 2024, and their Boeing 737 MAX 8 had just touched down at Newark Liberty International Airport after a flight from Nassau, Bahamas. Everything had gone perfectly, until the moment the wheels hit the runway. As the aircraft began to slow, the pilots tried to steer with the rudder pedals, the controls that keep the plane straight during landing, but the pedals wouldn't move. They were stuck, locked in place. The plane started drifting slightly off the center line. The captain pressed harder, but nothing happened. For a few tense seconds, the massive jet wasn't responding. At that speed, even a small deviation could become dangerous. Thinking fast, the captain switched to the alternative system, called the nose wheel steering tiller, to keep the jet aligned. It worked. The aircraft stayed on the runway, slowing down safely. Only when the speed dropped did the rudder pedals suddenly free up again, moving normally as if nothing had ever happened. Passengers had no idea what had just occurred. The plane taxied to the gate and everyone got off safely. When the NTSB investigated, they found something strange. The flight data showed that even when the pilots pressed hard on the pedals, the rudder itself barely moved. For about half a minute, it had essentially frozen. Engineers traced the problem to a servo unit, a mechanical part linked to the rudder system. That servo, though supposedly inactive during certain flight phases, was still connected in a way that let it resist motion when exposed to very cold temperatures. It was likely cold-soaked, meaning its internal mechanisms had stiffened after flying at high altitude. As a result, the NTSB urged Boeing to review the design, warning that a single stuck component shouldn't have the power to jam a critical flight control. Southwest Flight 3695, 2024 Passengers on Southwest Flight 3695 had no idea anything was wrong until they heard a sudden thud and saw metal flying past their window. It was April 7, 2024, a cool spring morning in Denver, Colorado, and the Boeing 737-800 had just lifted off, heading for Houston Hobby Airport. The engines roared as the plane climbed, the city shrinking below. Then came the noise that changed everything. Moments after takeoff, a section of the engine's outer cover, called the cowling, tore loose and peeled away. The loose metal whipped in the wind and slammed into the aircraft's wing flap, sending vibrations through the cabin. A few passengers gasped as they looked out and saw part of the engine's silver casing missing. Inside the cockpit, the pilots quickly realized they'd lost part of the engine's exterior and declared an emergency. The crew stayed calm. They stopped the climb at around 10,000 feet and turned back toward Denver. In the cabin, the flight attendants reassured passengers while checking for damage. Some travelers described hearing a deep rumble and feeling the plane shake slightly as it turned. Within minutes, the jet landed safely back at Denver International Airport. No one was hurt, but everyone on board knew it could have been much worse. When the NTSB and FAA began investigating, they quickly found the cause. The plane had been serviced the night before, and investigators discovered that the engine cowling latches hadn't been properly secured. During takeoff, as the air pressure increased, the cowling detached, striking the wing flap before breaking away completely. Engineers later confirmed the damage matched the pattern of a maintenance-related failure. And while that problem started with a loose latch, Another near-disaster years earlier would happen from something far more complex, a simple communication error at one of the world's busiest airports. Cayman Airways 792 and LAN 533-2008 On July 5, 2008, 
two passenger jets found themselves on a collision course over New York's JFK airport, their flight paths crossing in a way no one had planned. One was Cayman Airways Flight 792, a Boeing 737-300 arriving from Grand Cayman. The other was Land Airlines Flight 533, a Boeing 767-300 taking off for Santiago, Chile. Both were cleared by air traffic control, both doing exactly what they were told. And yet, within seconds, they were closing in on each other. Cayman 792 had been cleared to land on runway 22L. But as the 737 descended through the haze and lined up with the runway, the pilots didn't like what they saw. Something in the approach wasn't right, so they did what pilots are trained to do. They called a missed approach and began climbing back up for another try. At that very moment, the tower had cleared land 533 to take off from another runway, 13R, which crossed directly through the same airspace the Cayman jet was now climbing into. Neither crew realized what was happening until their traffic warning systems went off almost simultaneously. Inside the Cayman cockpit, the radar lit up with a red alert. The captain yanked the nose up, climbing hard. Below them, the Land 767 thundered through the intersection of both flight paths. Witnesses on the ground later said the two planes missed each other by less than 100 feet, a heartbeat's distance in aviation. Afterward, both flights continued safely. Cayman 792 circled around and landed without issue. LAN 533 climbed out and headed south as planned. But inside the JFK tower, panic had already set in. Investigators from the NTSB found that the controller had cleared both aircraft without maintaining the required separation. The procedures for crossing flight paths weren't followed, and the risk of a go-around had been ignored.